This photograph of soldiers raising the American flag in Iwo Jima in 1945 instantly became one of the iconic images of World War II. Now the Marine Corps is investigating whether it misidentified one of the servicemen in the famous photo after two amateur history buffs began raising questions about the picture. Associated Press photographer Joe Rosenthal took the celebrated photo on February 23, 1945, amid an intense and bloody battle between Japanese and American troops, which eventually lasted five weeks. Rosenthal was not able to get the names of the men after the photo had been taken. The Marines later identified the six men, which has been accepted for decades. Rene Gagnon, Ira Hayes, Harlan Block, Michael Strank, Franklin Sousley, and John Bradley. All were Marines except for Mr. Bradley, who was a naval corpsman. But according to two amateur historians, Eric Krell of Omaha, Nebraska, and Stephen Foley of Wexford, Ireland, Mr. Bradley wasn't in the photo. This is based on other images of Mr. Bradley taken during the same day the flag-raising photo was taken. Among the discrepancies identified and first reported in the Omaha World Herald back in 2014, Mr. Bradley's pants are tightly cuffed in this photo. In the flag-raising photo, they are uncuffed. The bill of a cap is visible beneath the helmet of the man said to be Bradley. However, in other photos that day, Bradley is not wearing a cap. The man identified as Bradley is wearing a cartridge belt with ammunition pouches and a pair of wire cutters hangs off the belt. But in other photos from the same day, he is shown wearing different gear. Author James Bradley, the son of John Bradley, who wrote a best-selling book on the story of the flag raisers, told the Associated Press he's shocked about the Marines' probe, saying, quote, I'm interested in facts and truths, so that's fine, but I don't know what's happening, end quote. The Marines have not given a timeline for their investigation.